Hi guys, a uh, bonus video for you today, uh, mainly because I was reading for the record and there are quite a few tank changes I wasn't aware of that are going to be happening in 9.3. So while I'm discussing those, we're going to be watching this FV304 replay sent in by VimB6. He's platooned with playing style games. Um, and they're troll platooning. Um, playing style games is in an FE215B183, and he's platooned with VimB6 and his FE304. So, um, yeah, I think VimB6 is doing a little bit of trolling, taking his tier 6 RT into a tier 10 game, but it's quite a close game, 52 percenters. So, just how effective is an FV304 going to be in a tier 10 game? Well, I guess that's what we're going to find out. So, I'm going to be playing most of this on times 2. And I'm going to be discussing some changes that are going to be happening to two different RT in um, 9.3 which should be hitting the test servers uh, around midweek, maybe three or four days' time. So uh, VimB6, this is on times two, so this thing doesn't aim or fire quite as quickly as it looks in the replay. But then again, it's an RT replay, so there's going to be a lot of point and clicking. Uh, but VimB6 is taking up a standard FV304 position. He's quite far advanced because the... Uh, Shell distance on this RT isn't very big, but as you can see, he's going to work on this E100. Hit him for no damage there, but that's not going to stay that way. Only managed 79 damage on that T69, but while Vim continues working on these tier 8, 9 and 10 tanks, as you can see, a nice track shot in the E100 for 104 damage there. Um, I'm going to discuss the changes, because the first tank that is going to be getting some significant changes in 8.3 is going to be the FB304. So that's why I'm quite happy to actually have this replay in my replays folder. Uh, well, basically, what's going to be happening to the FB304 is that it's going to be getting nerfs in a lot of different areas. Um, significantly, its reload is going to be nerfed. So at the moment, it's 11 and a half seconds. That's going to be uh, nerfed to around about 13 seconds. So it's going to get a one and a half second reload nerf. Um, because of that reload nerf, its DPM is going to be nerfed because of the rate of fire nerf. So previously it was firing at about uh, five, just over five shots a, a minute. Now it's going to be firing closer to four and a half shots a minute. Um, in addition to that, because of the rate of fire nerf, uh, the DPM has been decreased. So previously it was on uh, close to 2,400 DPM from this RT, and it's now going to be around about 2,100. So, uh, reload time, rate of fire, and DPM have all been nerfed, but it doesn't stop there. There are a lot of other nerfs. Uh, the aim time on the tank has also been nerfed. As you can see, well, maybe not see because it's on times two, but basically the aim time at the moment is about four and a half seconds, and that is being nerfed to... Uh, 4.6 so it's going from 4.3 seconds up to 4.6 seconds so as far as RT goes that's not a very significant nerf but it is a nerf so aim timing or aim time is going to be nerfed slightly I don't think it's as big a nerf as the rate of fire nerf uh, but in addition to the aim time being nerfed it's also getting a lot of accuracy nerfs Vim is just continuing to work here he spots a low health Waffen Tracker misses his shot. Is he going to get the kill? Nope. Misses that shot. But uh, yeah, it's getting a lot of accuracy nerfs. So basically, um, after simply just scrolling from side to side to try and get a tank in target is going to reduce your accuracy by about 20%. So even though it's getting an aim time nerf, it's going to be 20% longer when you're just simply moving from side to side within your gun arc to try and get your sh your gun on target. Nice shot on the T-34 too. Um, it's also getting an accuracy loss um, after uh, shooting. So after moving the gun, it's going to be uh, have an accuracy loss. After shooting, so even if you're aiming at the same spot and you fire as soon as you're reloaded, there's still going to be another accuracy nerf by about 20%. Um, also, accuracy nerfs. Oh, he got the Waffen Trigger E100, so there's his first kill. 
there's also going to be accuracy nerfs when um, moving and traversing your hull. So if you've got to turn your tank at all, it's going to be far less accurate and it's going to cause the aim time or the aim circle a lot more time to actually settle down. So uh, when I do talk about accuracy nerfs, it's basically how long the aim circle takes to settle down after moving. So uh, yeah, it's going to, uh, after shooting, it's going to take the aim circle a lot longer to settle down. After uh, moving your gun, it's going to take the aim circle a lot longer to, to settle down. After moving your turret, or, or moving your hull, it's going to take your aim circle a lot longer to settle down. Um, it's also going to be getting a uh, shooting on the move nerf, so trying to uh, play the FV-304 like a fast mobile TD um, that you see a lot of great FV-304 highlights do. Um, that's also going to be nerfed. Um, apparently it's going to receive an accuracy nerf when it's firing its gun on the move at full speed. So uh, that's going to be about 20% less accurate. Um, but the uh, nerfs don't end there. Also, it's getting a traverse speed nerf from 24 degrees down to 22. So it's not going to be quite as mobile as it usually is. It's going to take longer to turn. Um, and in addition to that, its ground resistance is being increased. So um, on soft and hard ground, it's going to be exactly the same. But on medium ground, just like this on grass, it's... Uh, or its uh, ground resistance is being nerfed slightly, but not by much. So quite a lot of nerfs in store for the FV-304. And just how significant they are, I have no idea, because I don't play this tank. I don't actually own it. Doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to getting it when I finally get around to it. Gets a nice penetrating shot on that 183. Just one enemy tank left, and the game is over. But uh, yeah, a lot of nerfs happening to the FV-304. If you're an FV-304 driver, please let me know what you think. And let's move on to the final score sheets. So uh, Vimby6 did 2,400 recorded damage in-game. And it was an ace tanker. But uh, Vim finished top on XP. So we actually did 3,060 damage. So about uh, 800 damage not recorded in XVM because he was firing blind. But really, really nice damage total in a tier 6 and a tier 10 game. Just the one kill, but he earned 1235 XP, giving him the ace tanker. This is just such a troll tank. Uh, he fired 35, hit 15, splashed 11, penned 14. Really, really ni nice amount of damage. Damage 6, destroyed 1, and he earned 38,000 credits or 37,000 credits on a premium account. Wasn't his first game of the day, but he still earned 1852 XP with a premium account. So, that was VimB6 doing some trolling in his FV-304, and please let me know if the FV-304 nerfs are going to affect you, or even if you think it's going to affect the tank by much. I uh, really don't know, don't play it, but um, some significant nerfs in there, but I'm just wondering, is this thing still going to be a little terror? So there is some more RT news. Uh, we're going to speed this up. I think we're going to be playing this on times 2. Salgian is here, maybe even on times 4. Salgian is here in his M12 on Sand River. Again, it's a 9.1 replay. Um, trees falling. A little bit laggy. Very laggy. Okay, maybe times 4 is too much. He did get a hit in on an IS-3 there for 494 damage. Now, uh, the other RT news is not regarding the M12. Big hit on a Tiger 2 for 500, 600 damage there. Um, I don't have any T95 or T92, sorry, I don't even know it. I don't have any T92 uh, replays, but uh, T92 is the tier 10 American RT, in case you were wondering. And the T92 is not actually getting any nerfs, not like the FV-304. The T92 is going to be getting some buffs, quite a lot of buffs, actually. Uh, but because I don't have a T92 replay, uh, unfortunately, you're just going to have to deal with Salgin in his M12. Salgin's already up to 2k damage, uh, but it's a uh, basically the T92 RT is going to be receiving an accuracy loss from uh, moving the or sorry it's not going to be receiving uh, the accuracy loss when moving its gun has been buffed, so its uh, aim circle is going to take a lot less time to die down after moving the gun, um, making it more accurate basically. 
Uh, it's also going to get a buff when moving its hull. So if you've got to, ch if it's got to move its hull to get its gun on target, it's going to take uh, less time for its uh, reticule to settle down. Um, it's also got its, for some reason, accuracy on the move buffed. So um, if you do like to drive around in T92s and use them like TDs, its accuracy on the move has been buffed by about 10%. Um, so I really, really. Um, don't think that's going to affect it too much. A kill on a low health IS-3 there for Salgin for kill number 3. Um, also, the uh, T-92 has also received a buff regarding its terrain resistance. So, uh, quite a significant buff actually. Um, its uh, terrain resistance on soft, medium and hard ground have all been buffed. So, uh, it's going to be a more maneuverable tank. It's going to be more accurate firing on the move. And it's going to uh, take a lot less time to aim. Nice kill on the Tiger 2. The uh, T-92 is going to take a lot less time to aim after uh, moving its gun or after moving its hull. So um, I know it's one of the uh, least played tier 9 or tier 10 uh, SPGs or RT. But uh, I think it's going to see a little bit more use after these buffs. So uh, FB-304 has gotten nerfed significantly. And the T-92 is getting some big, big buffs. So, uh, nice game there from Salgin. Uh, 3,864 damage recorded in-game. And that was an ace tanker for Salgin in the M12, just playing in the background there while I talked about the T-92. He also picked up a Gores medal. <laughs> Basically, drive an SPG and cause damage exceeding 10 times the hit points of your vehicle. Um, I don't think I've gotten one of those yet, but then again, I don't play Arty all that much. Uh, he also picked up High Caliber. He uh, finished top on XP with 1237. Really, really nice XP total for an Arty. And some of his blind shots did go in because he finished up with 3,864 damage with 5 kills. He fired 10, hit all 10, only splashed 2 and managed 10 penetrations. Really, really nice performance by the gun. Don't really know what sort of crew he has in the tank, but um, yeah, really, really accurate RT game there. He damaged 6, destroyed 5, and he earned 13,000 credits. RT really don't make you a lot of money, so even with a premium account, uh, he earned 13,000 credits. If he'd been playing on a standard account, he would have only earned, or he would have made a loss of 3,300 credits. So, uh, really, don't play Artie if you want to make money. But uh, I do play Artie occasionally, and uh, that was a pretty good game. 1855 XP on a premium account on a times two left him on 3,710 XP. So, two really, really nice Artie games. Um, I hope you guys aren't offended by watching Artie games, but I just thought I'd show them in the background while uh, talking about the nerfs to the FV304 and the buffs to the T92. Uh, if you play those tanks, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.